Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we'll be reacting to Man Break Up with OnlyFans model. Guys, let's get straight into this. All right, uh, if you can make me laugh, uh, I'll take you home tonight. <laughs> so funny, let's go. <laughs> Are you on birth control right now? Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. Are you headed to class? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, just let me let me grab your phone number. What? And yeah. Oh, what? I thought this was like a research project. Yeah, I mean it is kind of a research project. We got to do it back at my house though. That's where we complete it. Who are you looking for? Is this a YouTube video? No. I've been looking for a redhead like all day. That's how you approach people? You ask them that? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I don't you know. go to people's houses before I know. Them. Well, I'll take you on a date. What do you like to eat? Mexican food. Oh. You're playing. I have IBS. I, I can't I can't do Mexican food, but that's how, wait, I'm so thrown off. That's how you approach people? Yeah, what what what's the problem? I don't know. That's weird. How should I have approached you? Like hi, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? My name is Julian. I'm Leah, nice to meet you. I don't want to get you late, so we can just make this quick here. You can just put your number in and fall in love and stuff and yeah, well, go from there. You ask people that a lot? Yeah. That's your go-to? I guess. You gay? Okay. Yeah. You have a good day. I don't want to get you late was definitely birth control related. But can someone tell me why this girl sounds like that babysitter from Mr. Incredibles? Meanwhile... Now who's ready for some neurological stimulation? <laughs> What do you call a Chinese man with a video camera? Filming! <laughs> Things like that. I've had parents reach out to me asking me, Oh, my son's coming home with a girlfriend and his girlfriend has Tourette's syndrome. <laughs> so... And then I also get very evil people that would comment and say like, Go fuck yourself, Chris. Lick your baby mean and blow up your ass. Put your own biscuit, fat ass. That have told me that my parents deserved to die in a car accident because I'm faking my condition. Or people have told me that, like, I've had to have the police at my house because people gave out my location and said they're going to come torch my house. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Here's the thing. Clinically, people suck. And he fought through hell to keep a straight face, then had the audacity to laugh at her and then say, people suck. Rate your looks on a scale of 1 to 10. 10. 10. 10. Don't take this the wrong way. There's no 10s at this table. You guys are not 10s. Saying you're a 10 puts you on par with the most beautiful women in the world but that's your opinion that's a it's different always, question it's an opinion it's not no fact. but there's enough if you were a 10 you would not need to be to wear makeup you're but saying you asked that us what we thought about ourselves your self-perception does not determine the reality let's be so for real if any of us were a 10 we'd be on miss universe or like miss america if any of you were 10s you would not be single and having men run away from you or use you for watch sales your sexual marketplace <laughs> value would be very high Please, less delusion, more reality. When they ask these questions, they're basically trying to highlight how delusional you think you are. Any girl who says she's a 10 right off the bat, that's an instant red flag. Gentlemen, you know what type of girls who is not a red flag? Check this out. And I know the world is filled with Instagram models and OnlyFans girls and thoughts, but you got to find yourself a woman like this. Does my husband do annoying man things sometimes? Why, of course. But I don't nag him. I just take care of it. Why? Being a housewife and a full-time mom and a farmhand is a super, super full-time job, right? Yeah. So why do I pick up on his little slacks? Well, because he gave me everything. Literally everything that I have in life is because of him. But you're an awesome boss babe. You can do it yourself. No. No, I really couldn't have. <laughs> sure, anyone can do anything. But really, I don't have or want to attain the skill set to do all the things that he's done in the last five years. I wouldn't have any, any of this without him. He built our house with his hands for the love of God. I can't do that. He does everything for us. And I mean everything. He is our provider and our protector. So honestly, the least that I can do is do his dish. A good woman meets a good man. God bless them. And to all you feminist bumblecluts out there saying they can't find a man, that men are the problem. Just remember this statistic. Lesbians have the highest rate of domestic violence out of all couples. I actually didn't know that, which makes you really wonder, like, who is the real problem? Women. Women. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
That's how it would seem. Actually, funny enough, that same study showed that uh, gay gay couples, gay men, had the lowest prevalence of domestic violence. Which is the gayest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my name is Becca. Hi, I'm Amy. How are you? Good, how are you? What is your personal philosophy of rehabilitation? So, my personal philosophy of rehabilitation... <laughs> Is this an interview or an exorcism? I'm asking for a friend, or was she just farting through her mouth? I don't know. If it's eighty-four inches, then there's like air in between the wiring and the. Uh... <laughs> this is beginner. This is intermediate, and then we have expert. <laughs> He found my OF page. And he's packing up his sh leave. I told you one more time. Working out again. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. Lord have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused basic example that i touched on earlier which i always will preach against for young men is pornography and masturbation when you are lowering your testosterone level by doing this people will say this is a normal and healthy habit yeah maybe once every three weeks or four weeks but five times a day on the internet with the with the content that you're consuming let me tell you something they say oh it's normal it's healthy no anything that lowers your testosterone level is not healthy familiar with the english alphabet yeah could you recite the alphabet from start to finish without singing it? Yeah. Okay. Whenever you're ready. A C B D E F G H H I F N G H I C K L M N O P H Q E S H Q E S I T E. Okay. All right. So what in the Joe Biden is this? But here's the plot twist: she's not drunk. She just doesn't know, because you'll be surprised on how a woman brain works. What's that, motherfucker? Oh. Oh. He needs some milk. Three, two, one, go. Okay, fingers in. Okay, seatbelt comes off. There we go. Loop in. Okay, now with my other hand, I'm going to kick the seat back and I'm going to open the seat. I'm going to open the door, okay? Three, two, one. All the way down, I'm out, and I can escape freely, okay? Ah! Two fingers! Two fingers! Ah! Seat down! This is what usually happens when you take advice from a woman. He took three to five business days to recline his seat. You'd be surprised because stupidity is becoming a worldwide he problem. Yeah, that thing's giant. It, how many times bigger is it than Earth? Like the moon? Yeah. No, not bigger. Yeah, it is. The moon. <laughs> Nah. You just said you're so into it and you don't know that the moon's bigger than Earth. No, it's not. There it is. I don't think it is. It is. The moon is bigger than Earth. It surely it has to be. Because when you're looking at the moon from Earth, it's huge. But like... It's so far away from us. A wise man once said, beauty without intelligence is a masterpiece painted on a napkin. Help me suck uh -huh. me off uh -huh. while cameras are off. Oh, no. 
No, I've no, had, that's happening. I've had talent me. tell me that. Yeah. Yeah. They, they they set the record straight. For sure. Unless you they're feeling to. you, then they'll be like, all right, we can still do it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, no. Okay, so you just strictly there for the business. Yeah. The camera's off. I ain't touching you. That's even if you're attracted to him. Yep. <laughs> I ain't there for love. I got you. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. I don't think I would be able to do things that I do these days like a hundred years ago. And with that, women become more masculine. So since men don't want the masculine traits, and I don't think that most women want the feminine traits, why would you continue to orient and move society towards this, where women are gaining more masculine traits just in lieu of the fact that they have to go provide? Does that seem like sensible policy to you? Independence. So the feeling that you have the freedom to do what you want to do, not depend on a man, mm -hmm. is intoxicating. It's freeing. So it's hedonism. But really, like, what you're talking about is just hedonism. So even though these are things which you think in society are pretty much bad, the fact that now women are far more masculine and that's not good for the dynamic between men and women, you would still say that, well, we should still have it, we should still push towards it, because after all, for women, it's good that they can have the choice to be hedonist. Just so this cream of the crop of cream gobbler knows, prostitution is coined the oldest profession. She could have done this a hundred years ago. This is why freedom without responsibility will be the downfall of society. I never hit my wife, even when I'm drunk. If a lady's got moxie, I believe she can even become a medical doctor. I allow my daughter to make eye contact with boys and men. My wife wasn't even a virgin when we met, and I'm almost fine with that. After our wedding, I allowed her to wait almost a year before I impregnated her. My daughter's fat, and I've never told her how much it bothers me. I believe we men shouldn't have extramarital affairs. Hey, pal! Sometimes women do have good ideas. And gentlemen, that's it for today. Guys, to be honest, I honestly feel he is against women. Like, I, I understand that some women are delusional, but like, I would still say there are more women than men, and some have sense. Even if some prove us wrong every time. Like, I hate it when a woman cheat, and I hate it when women do some certain things. But I'll say it if a man is allowed to do it, then a woman should be allowed to do it. So, but like, I'm someone that I hate when a man cheat. So I I I I hate it too when a woman cheat. I feel if you have a partner, you should respect and give them that. You should just give them that respect. Like there's no need for you to be in a committed relationship and cheating. Just leave if you don't want it. And back to this, like this is actually amazing. I love the fact that it's funny, insulting. But the first time, I, I honestly thought the girl was faking it until I saw it was actually serious. And that's why the man thought she was faking it too. Then when he saw it, then he like took control of himself and it was like... But I think what you think about the video, that you like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.